This is a bit different from my regular content, but I like to point things out because it's fun and this seems like a cool idea for a video, so doing it anyway. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of Weezer, uh, have been for a couple of years now, and something I've picked up on with learning a lot of their songs is the fact that Rivers uses a specific chord progression about five or six times uh, in like their whole discography which is a lot of times to use the same chord progression. Um, it must be one of his favorites. I don't, I don't really know. For all I know, he could be doing it subconsciously. But the first time it shows up is in Michael and Carly. And the chord progression is as follows. E minor, A minor, C major, I mean D major, and G major. And it comes up in the verse of Michael and Carly. Um, she tore up my head, now my head's all red. Hey, it's cold at night sometimes, but I can't be misled. Um, and that's the first time it happens. And then it shows up a couple of times in Pinkerton, specifically in uh, Pink Triangle. So. Not a smoked a few in my time, but never thought it was a crime. Variation is the fact that he plays this sort of walk down, so or um, that's the main difference between the two. Uh, then he uses it again on the same album, like I said, Pinkerton. He uses it for "Falling for You," which is uh, during the "Holy Sweet Goddamn You Left Your Cello in the Basement" song. Um, Holy sweet goddamn, you left your cello in the basement. Now, the main difference between that one is the fact that when he plays it, he actually switches to a different chord. He doesn't do, uh. He does. Um, it, then he does the. So that's the variation on that one. And then the next time it shows up is on Island in the Sun from the Green Album. And on that song, he does it like this. Or if you want to play the intro. Which is actually kind of similar to the intro to Pink Triangle, which is... They're both doing triads, uh, they're both playing chord progressions with triads, and they're both in the same sort of position on the neck, so it's kind of an interesting comparison to make. Um, but on Island of the Sun, of course he uses it in that song, which uh, in action would sound like this. When you're on a holiday you find the words to say All the things that came to you And you want to feel it too And you think that, oh, well, he used it, what, like, that's four times? Well, surely he didn't use it again, right? I mean, that was, like, 2001. Well, guess what? On the White Album, which was 2016, he used it again on the sort of Pinkerton throwback-sounding song do you want to get high? Which is basically the same exact progression, almost the same exact progression as he uses on Pink Triangle. The only difference is the fact that the um, descending thing is actually played differently. It's actually played. Do you want to get high? Don't need no dinner tonight. We can listen to back or He just, it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. And he's used it since like 1994, 1993, whenever it is that he wrote Michael and Carly. And for all I know, it probably shows up before then, but from what I can tell, that's around the first time it's been used. And it's not a unique progression, by the way. It's not like something he came up with. It's a pretty common progression. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's very simple. It's very easy to play. Uh, the first 
time I the main thing I think of when I think of it I think of it being used in Lounge Act by Nirvana um <laughs> Um, which would make a lot of sense since Rivers is a Nirvana fan, a pretty big Nirvana fan that. So I wonder if he got it from Nirvana or if that was just a coincidence uh, that he happened to pick up on that progression subconsciously or what the hell, because he's been using it since 1993, 1994, and he's never stopped. I don't know if there's any other uh, uses of that progression past 2016, there may be, there may not be, but I just think it's interesting to point out, and I've sort of dubbed this the Weezer chord progression, so, yeah, that's that. <laughs> 